Howdy friends, Marshall Lucky here, New Deal Used Cars, where we are always, always fighting high prices. Well, it's a Sunday, it's, a, it's been a great weekend, great freaking weekend. Friday was awesome for me, I know it was sh shitty for most, because everybody likes to bet on things to go higher. Well, not in this market, not with this war, I'm betting on things to go lower, and so... Man, I did good. My PayPal put on Friday was up 26%. My MC put, $17 put, I think it is, was up 28%. I got all my money from my disability company. They finally came through like champions. And um, shout out to River Source Life Insurance. Um, <clears throat> I, um, I see pain this week red red pain russian red it's obvious that they have now uh widened the conflict into in ukraine as you can see now they're like hitting every part of ukraine i guess part of western ukraine had been untouched so far but well, all our friends at the soviet union soviet union you kids will google that if you don't know what that is um russia now they're launching missiles from their submarines in the Black Sea, so they can reach all parts of Ukraine. Um, I think once they take that place around Crimea, Maripol, whatever it's called, I don't know what it's called, they're going to just straight up to Kiev. I mean, it's, I don't know, it may take months, it could take two, three, four months for them to take Kiev, I don't know. I think they'll get bogged down as hell in guerrilla tactics for sure. Because uh, it will be street fighting, citizen on soldier. It's insane. Um, everyday citizens have to pick up arms and fight like soldiers for their land. Can you imagine that happening in America? Well, first off, it would never happen in America. Because one, I saw this on uh, another YouTube video of the 10 toughest nations to invade. And Georgia. And Georgia. And Georgia. And the United States was number one on the list. We're like impossible to invade because we have uh, allies on the top in Canada, allies on the bottom in Mexico, and huge oceans to the left and to the right, and so nobody's going to sneak up on us. So, yeah. It would, and plus, any army that came in to America would have to fight off 300 million armed Americans. Yeah, Ukraine's probably got a million armed guys. We would have like 300 million armed people. Yeah, that would be pretty much impossible. So anyway, don't you worry about that, but I filled my car up with gas on Friday, I think it was. And then I gotta tell you, it was $4.79. And that's the most I have ever paid for a gallon of gas in my entire lifetime. You see the gray. I'm 54. Um, I can't believe it. It's probably going to be, I expect, $6 by June, uh, um, if not sooner. The summer will be brutal. Um, so we're going to play it accordingly. So that means inflation is probably going to be 8.5% uh, next month, something like that. And then interest rates go up. And then inflation goes up, and gas goes up, and bread goes up, and milk goes up, and eggs go up, and Johnny's not going to be able to go see that movie, you know, that you wanted to see because we ain't got 15, you know, bucks to buy a Coke and a popcorn. It's retarded how much AMC charges for um, their concessions. It's like airport prices, it really is. It's just stupid. But that's how they make their money, I guess. I don't know. Um... I don't think they're going to make very money the first quarter, I can tell you that. Uh, people are going to be highly, highly disappointed when Q1 earnings come out. Oh, yeah. They're talking like, oh, it's over a billion. Well, what? You had no movies it's in January, February, and March. You had the remnants of Spider-Man, and you had a little bit of Batman. And that's the only movies that made any money, really. Except for that other one. What was that other one? I don't know. One of them did fairly well. I mean, but not much. Not to make a big difference. I think um, AMC's total earnings for the first quarter are going to be way under $500 million. I don't know where these people are getting a billion dollars from, 
I think they're hallucinating, they're mass hysteria, um, they have taught themselves into complete nonsense. How can you sit there and say a $14 stock, literally a $14 stock that has done nothing but go down for months, eight months now, nothing but go down. It's at fourteen dollars. How can you think that thing could possibly get back to fifty? It would take it over a year to get back to fifty, if it could, which I highly doubt it. So, all these people holding that damn AMC crap. Um, I hope y'all are right. I mean, I got like fifty shares just to hedge, but um, I'm not gonna buy more than a hundred. No way, because I see my personal opinion. I see AMC going down to where it should be, about 4 to $5 a share, and that'll be about where it stays. And so I'm going to ride it all the way down there and then say, adios, AMC, I'm off to something else. Because I don't, I don't know if AMC will go flat bankrupt, but I'm pretty sure they will in time. They just have too, too much debt. Twelve, it's approximately $12 billion in debt, uh, corporate debt and rental debt. And then they have like ten billion in assets. So if they went to bankruptcy, if they had to liquidate, there's still two billion in the hole. They're shit. So anyway, if you guys want to waste your money on that, be my guest. I'm going the other way. And I did I've done pretty well this week. So anyway, I wish you luck. God bless you. And uh take care. Marshall Lucky out.